question 16. Okay, so we've got to work out the total length of the four metal bars. So obviously AB is 5 and BC is 3. So we've got to work out the two other bars, AC and BD. So let's start off with AC. Now if we look at this right angle triangle, ABC, uh, then basically AC is the hypotenuse and we know the two shorter sides. So we can work out AC using Pythagoras with AC squared being 3 squared plus 5 squared which is 9 plus 25, which is 34. So AC is the square root of 34, which is 5.83, and so on. Okay, so uh, that just leaves us to find the length of the bar BD. Now, I think we need to do this. We've got to do two things. First of all, let's work out this angle here, again using the triangle ABC. So picturing ourselves at this angle, that side is opposite, that side is adjacent, so it's tan tan x is opposite over adjacent 5 over 3 inverse tan both sides so we get x equals inverse tan 5 over 3 which is 59.036 degrees so once we've established this angle we can now focus upon this triangle BCD and we're trying to find this opposite side and we've just worked out this angle so now we're basically doing sine we're now doing sine because we've got opposite and hypotenuse. So sine x is opposite over hypotenuse y over 3, but we've just worked out the angle to be 59, so sine 59 is y over 3. Multiplying both sides by 3, we get y equals 3 lots of sine 59. Popping that into a calculator, we get a length of 2.572. So we've now worked out the length of the four bars, so we just add them together. So 5.83 our 2.572 and the 5 and 3 we started to gives us 16.40 dot 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 which is 16.4 to 3 significant figures.